sunshine. Yeah. Uh, where are we? Who are you? You finally oh, awake, Dent? The name's Red Hood. I heard of you back in my DA days. Thought you died. Wrong one. That Red Hood was a normal crook. They put a suit on as a way of covering their tracks. I am not a crook like them. I'm more of the embodiment of vengeance. And I've come all the way out here for you. What for? You sure talk like Batman. You should know. We aren't afraid of the bat. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Do I look like a Batman to you? I want retribution, Dent, and you're going to give it to me! I'm not afraid to die. I'd rather not die like this. Oh, be quiet. Oh, for the love of- Make up your mind! Or do you need a coin for that, too? Coin flip would be nice. You flip it, son. <laughs> it's funny you call me son. Why is that funny? You ain't my kid or something, are ya? <laughs> no, no. If we were related, no amount of therapy would get me to sleep at night knowing that I would be the seed from your void. Great. This guy likes to monologue. This should be fun. You see, the reason why I brought you here to this isolated warehouse at a quarter to midnight is because I wanted to talk to you about one of your victims in your early days of crime. A history lesson? Now? All right, kid, tell me what unspeakable horrors I did. Maybe he shouldn't. Shut up, you! Okay, let me paint this picture for you. There was a father trying so hard to make ends meet at the end of each miserable day. Slaving away at menial jobs and making deals with the wrong people. Only being driven by one thing. Keeping what's left of his broken family. His wife of... Ten years leads for a young rich guy that ends up getting to a car accident and dies. The only thing that he put his focus on was his son. Let me guess. That was you, wasn't it? The father and son lived together in a crappy, run-down apartment building in Crime Alley, sharing one room and waking up next to each other every time they hear a gunshot in the middle of the night. The next day, scrounging for food and trying to make as much money as possible. He makes a deal, doesn't he? Yeah. He makes a deal with one of the worst people to go up against. You. You told him he would be given money and protection if he did exactly what he was told. When you took him and the rest of your hoodlums on the job, <laughs> don't worry, you'll know why soon. What? Huh. It's 11.50. Why are checking the time? Got somewhere to be. Don't worry. I'll get to that soon. Then one night, the father is working a job robbing the Lincoln Twins jewelry store. Small job, nothing more. But in haste to just get the job done as per your request, the alarm gets triggered, getting the attention of the police and even Batman. The father scrams and leaves you and your thugs to fight Batman, which left you fleeing like a coward and not getting your precious jewel. I remember that. It was supposed to be a clean job, too. Shut the fuck up! Later that night, the father runs to his shitty, shitty apartment and wakes his son up, telling him that they must leave town for a while to pack your things and get the hell out of there. The father and son intend to leave down the fire escape. Son goes first, then suddenly, you appear. With goons and everything, the father can't even get to the window. The son ducking beneath the windowsill and hiding. And the father having a gun held to his head. I think I know this story. <laughs> You'd better, otherwise this would be less satisfying. So, you have the gun to the father. Accusing him of trying to cheat you out. He denies it, and you keep mocking and threatening him. The Gotham Bell Tower was about to ring at midnight. Then, you pull out this little coin and say, Heads, you die. Tails.
scales, you walk away with four fractured ribs. The coin flipped. Bang! The Gotham bell tower rang at midnight, precisely when Finn be dead on the floor. You search the place and leave his dead body in the apartment. The son Tane is looking through the window of his own home after hearing everything that's happened. Never to come back to his home ever again. Son? Wait! You're Willis Todd's son? Yes, I am! You took my father away from me! You robbed me of the only good thing I cared about in this horrible childhood life! And in a few minutes, when the Gotham Bell Tower strikes at midnight, in a few minutes, you'll be dead! Gah! Well, it's 11.55. A lot can happen in five minutes. Until the bell strikes at midnight. Do you have anything you want to get off your chest? What the hell? You need to stop. What are you doing here, Black Bat? This isn't any of your concern. Yes, it is. How did you even find me anyway? I'm a trained assassin. You think I can't find the... Uh... G Gun-wielding maniac that kidnapped you, Face? Oh no. Word got out to the gangs in the street. I gotta repair my reputation. I've gotta damage his clown face first! Shut the hell up! This is personal! It's the only thing that can fill the empty void in my blackened heart! Why are you here, Hood? What are you doing this for? The Joker is dead! And I was the one who got to kill him! The monster destroyed me, beat me to death, let me rotting next to a fucking bomb! of what kind of person I was meant to be, what I can do to people like him, so that they won't hurt anyone else who are like me. It would have been my absolute pleasure to kill him, but someone beat me to it. My entire driving force, gone. I have no closure. This chapter in my life didn't end the way it was supposed to be, so I did the next best thing, which was to get the man who was responsible for taking my father away from me. It's terrible what happened to your father. If you don't think I feel any remorse about what I've done to your father and people just like him. You're right. I don't give a rat's ass about that bum you call the father. And all who follow. They made their choice. What choice are you gonna make, boy? It's 11.58. And in two minutes, I'm gonna put one between your eyes. It's only fair that two sides connect at one point. So, are you going to stop me, Black Bat? Kick my ass like Batman would? No. That would be a waste of my energy and of my time. I'm trying to follow through with the orders I was given. What orders? Did Batman send you here to stop me instead of him? Typical. No, Master Tom. I gave Cassandra the orders. Alfred? Who the hell is calling now? Jason, I told her to move on your location before you did something brash and irrational. I don't need another parental figure right now! Yes, you do! I didn't want you and Black Bat to get into a physical scuffle because it wouldn't solve anything. Master Bruce would not approve of this. I don't give a shit about his approval! Just listen to him, Hood. I know you want revenge on this man for stealing your family away from you. But after that tragedy that befell you, you found a new family. Master Bruce took you in and raised you as his own. Taught you what it meant to take a tragedy and turn it into something better. Turn it into a force for good. Joker's death has affected us all in different ways. But we cannot let him win from beyond the grave. Taking Two-Face's life would only prove that the Mad Clown has control over your life, and that you will never be free of him. You have a... an opportunity that very few people get. The... the opportunity to become more than you are. So, what's your answer? No! Ah! What just happened? Ah! Mother of God, that freaking hurts! Relax, everyone. I only shot him in the kneecap, so he'll be 
fine. That was bold, what you did. But I think you made the right choice. You son of a bitch, I'll kill you! Yeah, yeah, sure. I guess. And Alfred, I appreciate what you said to me. But next time, don't you or anyone else in the family interfere with my personal affairs. I honestly hope for your sakes, Master Todd, that there won't be a next time. <laughs>